smash that like button and subscribe hit that bell all right guys what's good this is sonic soul here with another tutorial this time i wanted to cover terry terry recently dropped and i've been playing him i'm in master rank with him i'm about 1700 or more with him my win rate is about like 65 percent right like i'm doing okay with him i don't think he's like broken but i don't think he's bad either i think he's in a decent spot this character is very fun to play especially because of his combo routing he is a shoto however there are things that kind of like make him different compared to everyone else and hopefully you guys can enjoy playing terry and learn how to play him from this video if you do like what you learn be sure to like the video and subscribe so you get more fighting game content like this on my main channel so terry is a very interesting character because he's got all these different buttons that he could use on the ground like i said he's a shoto so he's got like his standard fireball and they jump you dp and then you know he's got decent normals to play on the ground in the mid range so that's kind of he's shoto like but then he's also got like other tools like he's got burn knuckle and then he's also got crack shoot so those tools are also really really important and then his combo game uh can get really really in depth because of the special cancels that he gets from like power charge first of all the normals the, so stand medium punch stand medium kick crouch and medium kick crouch and medium punch stand and heavy kick are all of the grounded normals you're going to be using to keep your opponent at bay or poke at the opponent and eventually confirm and stand medium punch specifically has a ton of target combos with it and crouch and medium kick has a target combo with it as well when people jump at you you're gonna also do crouch and heavy punch or you can do his t his dp and you're gonna mix up your normals with his fireball let's go over each of those normals one by one what you're gonna be using around this range stand medium punch is a really good like neutral tool and it hits where crouch and medium punch wouldn't so if ryu would whiff maybe like you know his crouch and medium punch that's not gonna reach right uh stand medium punch will reach See that but his stand is strong while it moves forward it doesn't have a lot of advantage by itself like on punish counter you only get stand light kick which is like nothing and it doesn't even reach so you kind of just cancel this button by itself but it has a target combo like you saw before and the thing about the target combo is first of all you can use it for the knockdown which is medium punch heavy punch right um and then also you can kind of use it as a space trap so let's say they block this button right you can space trap with this button or you can do the target combo so for example right you can space trap with this by itself because it's pretty safe at like minus two or you could do the target combo medium punch heavy punch and you see how it creates like a small gap and then you can whiff punish that's kind of like how you're going to be using it you're going to be using this to like with punish basically uh through space trapping with this target combo downside obviously is that it's minus on block but most characters light kick does they don't reach at that point it, he'll punish me here because i'm close but if i space it he can't punish me anymore see The other thing about it too is that this has a gap so it kind of frame traps on its own so like if i were to have him just try to mash after this he gets counter hit you see that but obviously because there's a gap you can also parry obviously it's special cancelable so you can go in a drive rush from it as well that's pretty much all it, there is with stand medium punch in terms of the neutral application then you have crouching medium kick crouching medium kick has a target combo on it oh crouching medium kick heavy kick and you can cancel this into drive rush and they can't press a button on this because it's a frame trap but they could dp but if i do this obviously it's a true block screen his crouching medium kick is good by itself like but it's not as long range as a lot of other crouching medium kicks hammies and juries and ken and chun have some better crouching medium kicks I don't think his crouching medium kick is the worst button, but there are moments where it just it's stubby because people will always walk back. So you could do drive rush, obviously, and then go in a burn knuckle. Same way with just canceling the burn knuckle. Because the difference is if you do this and drive rush into it, if they get hit, then you want to convert it. So a simple thing is just doing burn knuckle. But otherwise, you're going to be doing this regardless. Standing medium kick 
Really good poke. Honestly, one of be Terry's best pokes in the mid-range. Really good at basically poking whenever someone's trying to approach. And if it connects on counter hit, you get Buster Wolf. So that's kind of cool as a counter hit confirm. It's a good bit of damage for landing that in the in the mid-range because you can't really cancel this. You just poke with it. So it's nice to be able to have counter hit confirms. And yeah, it's a really good poke. It's just genuinely a really good poke that you should be using. And you can kind of use it in the same way you would use like this target combo where like you poke and then if they press something, then you can kind of whiff punish and you can also stop their approach. Stand heavy kick is kind of like Ken's stand heavy kick, but a little better in the sense that like it's only minus four on block, whereas Ken's is minus five. Obviously, if you space it, your opponent can't really punish you. It's kind of like the benefit of it. And uh, it goes pretty far. It can whiff punish a lot of things. Uh, but it's slow at like 12 frames and it's got 36 total animation frames. So it's it's very slow, but it is active for a while. Um, you can use this. So let's say the opponent whips a button, right? Like, let's say they whiff a button. Then you get a combo in the power dunk. This is another target combo off of the stand medium punch. That's one of your main like bnbs you're gonna do when you whiff punish with this normal if you whiff punish with this normal in the corner then you don't need to drive rush then you get the combo into ground wave the the courts go heavy fireball so you can use this button to whiff punish and depending on if you're in the corner depends on what combo you get stay heavy kick is a really good like whiff punish tool but it's slow so it's not the only one you should be using and you have to be careful because obviously you can get jumped in on drive impacted so you have to be careful when just throwing this out. His crouching medium punch is okay, but like I said, it doesn't go as far as his stand medium punch. Like this is where his stand medium punch is, like around here. And his crouching medium punch is like here. So like where it's whiffing here, this connects. So you're gonna be using crouching medium punch in like places where you could like space trap. Like this is one of your main confirms, especially because so like if you land this, you get stand heavy punch and this goes into all the combos that you want to do so that's kind of like the party starter like let's say they block the crouching medium punch and then you go into drive rush this is going to be your main like button that's going to be plus on block from drive rush that you're going to be pressuring with because a lot of his other buttons most of his buttons in fact do not have any plus frames by themselves you're generally going to use crouching strong in ranges where like you're around here whenever somebody's whiffing something like a, a light or a medium. So that's where you're using it. And then obviously up close, it's your pressure tool. So that is the range in where you're gonna be using crouch or medium punch. Now, like I said, if someone jumps at you, then you're gonna do crouch or heavy punch, or you're gonna do rising tackle. Doing rising tackle, it has three versions, right? There's the light version, there's the medium version, and there's the heavy version. It's your main anti-air. All three of them have pretty good upper body inbound, but the difference is that each one of them move forward if you use the medium version and they're like this close they will jump over you and you will whiff or you'll get hit so you got to use the light version the light version will almost always connect that closer ranges ex can sometimes hit but even then that will happen there's ranges where you're supposed to use rising tackle like if somebody neutral jumps like this then you can do heavy rising tackle right and if they're really close like this, then you can air to air with jump medium punch. In some cases, if you air to air like this, you can get like rising tackle as well after. But I wouldn't recommend that because sometimes it'll win. Light rising tackle is what you want to do to get the knockdown, especially because you get Oki. You get the Oki to meaty them with crouching medium punch, right? Now, let's go on to the special moves since we're talking more about Terry's special moves. Terry, his fireball, his power wave is pretty slow it's about the same frame data as ken harry's is on the ground like it travels on the ground like a kof fireball you will throw your fireball he'll throw his and you'll go under it it's really good against like the gal matchup because gal can't really just throw booms without worrying about this the downside to it is that every character can kind of have a way of going over it so i got bison here he's gonna do scissor kick right if i do this light version he'll go over it and punish me and you may be thinking, well, damn, this, this must be a bad matchup for Terry then. But that's where the medium version comes into play, right? The medium version will hit high enough to stop his scissor kick. The same way you can fight Honda and he does his headbutt, 
you'll be able to beat the headbutt with medium power wave. Those are the two different versions of power wave, uh, the light and medium version that are your main projectiles. And obviously, if they try to jump this projectile, then you anti-air them, right? So, so if they try to jump, you anti-air them. And then you can even do uh, Buster Wolf as an anti-air. The other thing too about the medium fireball, your opponent is gonna always try to parry against fireballs. He's gonna try to parry my fireball, right? Like that. But if I do the medium one, see that? The heavy version is not a fireball per se in the sense that like, it, it's not like a traveling projectile. It's kind of more like a pressure tool. It's plus five on block. It's one of Terry's only like plus on block tools up close because a lot of his other buttons are like negative on block. You have to create pressure through his special moves and through knockdown scenarios. As for his EX Fireball, which is another thing I wanted to talk about, uh, is really good because it's active for much longer and it has two hits and it hits really high up. So you can kind of use this in conjunction with Burn Knuckle to really like get in on the opponent. Let's say they block this and then you do burn knuckle. You're now plus and you've got your pressure started off of this, right? You can also obviously drive rush from this and then create a situation like if you do drive rush overhead with forward heavy punch because they're going to be scared. Sometimes they might jump when they see this. So then you can also anti-air with your rising tackle as well. So it's really good in conjunction with burn knuckle, of course. The next special move that Terry kind of has is his burn knuckle the light version and the ex light version are overheads see same with the ex version both are pretty fast you know like it's about like 10 frames uh the medium burn knuckle is what you're really going to talk about here this this right here medium burn knuckle is plus one on block if spaced out at like a really good range you'll know that it's plus because the screen shakes for a few frames See? you're gonna use your burn knuckle in conjunction with your normals like your opponent is worried about like dealing with these buttons and then you just burn knuckle in right either that or you could do it behind your your projectile so like you throw your projectile out and then you burn knuckle the heavy version is similar to the medium version except that it starts up longer and it's actually plus five at max range so you could even frame trap with like a medium see so there is that screen shape so just be wary for it you see how that's a true block string it's it's plus five bro like that's how you use burn knuckle you want to space them out so that way they are safe or plus on block and then you get pressure after you can also kind of like anti-air with burn knuckle like let's say for example it's a little like situational but you can anti-air with it i wouldn't recommend doing this but it's another option. Now, the EX version, so like on punish counter, you see how it causes a wall splat. If there's no punish counter, no wall splat. It just knocks down. It gives you a sliding knockdown. The EX version of this, you can combo from it and you get pretty good damage. So you wanna do it whenever somebody wakes up with something in the corner. This crack shoot, he's got three versions. Obviously he can space them all out, but the light and medium version is minus three. The heavy version is minus one. The EX version is minus two. All of these, it's very like funny, right? Like this move does a lot of things. So it is an anti-air. It crushes lows. He can combo from it. So it's a combo starter and extender in some cases. Uh, it goes over fireballs and it's safe on block. So let's have Cammy. Everyone hates Cammy, right? Let's say you know the Cammy player is gonna dive kick the light version is much faster like as a read you can kind of use it to stop them from just doing dive kick obviously you can't do it on reaction because then you'll get hit this is a read and let's say they don't dive kick it instead they just block this then you're minus three you know your turn ends but usually if you're minus three and you're around here you can space trap them like if they press a button and it whiffs because they want to respond because you're safe you're negative right you can whiff punish them so it's really good at being an anti-air kind of the crack shoot also goes over fireballs but you have to do the heavy version of it 
And the heavy version will be a little bit airborne. It also crushes lows. See, it crushes lows. You can use the light version for this. Again, like the medium and heavy are kind of finicky because they're slower. But the light version is usually really good at this. See, that's the medium version. So you can use Crack Shoot to crush lows, sort of anti-air, and use it to go over fireballs. And it's also safe on block, and it's a combo extender, and also sort of a combo starter because it anti-airs and you can combo in a DP. The EX version, airborne hit or punish counter hit, it does a ground bounce. His last special move that he has is power charge. Power charge, he's got like this tackle move. So he's got three different versions and then obviously the EX version, right? The light version of his power charge, he can kind of space this out and he can get a combo because up close it's plus three. So he gets a strike throw scenario. But then further away, if it hits like further out, it can be as much as plus six. So he could get crouching strong from this if he's super spaced out. Um, and you could get some combos from doing his crouching medium punch from a jump in, because this is plus five on hit, so you get stand light kick. And then that cancels into light power charge. And then you're plus four, so you get the link jab, and then you get a combo. So you get those power charge loops that you see. Right, the medium version, knocks them up you don't really get a combo mid-screen you get a combo in the corner uh but it is also a good ender for when you want to do power geyser because you can link from it see that it's also really good because it gives you your safe jump if you want to sacrifice damage for it dp see that see it's a safe jump right so the heavy version right like he can special cancel this into everything but itself. So he can do heavy power charge in the fireball, heavy power charge into burn knuckle, right? He can also do it into DP. He can do it in the crack shoot, right? Like he can do it into everything but itself, which is kind of like the main appeal of the character because then you get to combo specials into specials. So. You get some really cool combos because of this, and some of your main B and Bs are are pretty much formed from this, right? So that is how you use power charge. Obviously, all of them are negative on block, so you don't want to be throwing it out willy nilly. You kind of use these as your combo starters or combo enders or combo extenders, right? They're not really plus, you don't really use them in pressure. Um, the EX version causes a wall bounce, right? So you get a combo after this. So you could DP, so you could do stuff like this. You're never gonna really see this EX move often, but it does exist, but you're, you're mainly gonna be using the heavy tackle, the heavy power charge. Now for his supers, Buster Wolf, right? His Buster Wolf is seven frame startup. It's a very fast super. So at seven frames, it's very useful because it not only is it seven frames, it travels very far. You jump at Terry after he throws a fireball. He can, he can anti-air you with Buster Wolf. He could combo into another Buster Wolf after landing the first one. So if I do something like this. I can land two of them in a row. There are obviously other like combos you could do into it, but that's like a basic one. And of course, like I mentioned before, if you land a counter hit fan medium kick, you can go into Buster Wolf. So that's kind of like most of the applications of using Buster Wolf, aside from it being a reversal, right? And you have to also remember that EXDP is your main reversal without meter. So he does have a reversal that he could do to like get people off of him. But this, this is another reversal as well that you can do. Now his level two is his power geyser, right? 
Now, it only does one single hit, but if you decide to spend Drive Gauge, then it will do two hits and you get a combo after it. You spend all three Super Bar Gauges and three bars of Drive Gauge, you get Top Gear Geyser, and it does more damage than his level three. You're generally gonna be doing that when you end your combos. And also keep in mind as well that it can only be done on hit. You can only cancel into another like power geyser hit on hit. You can't do it like when you clash projectiles or if they block because it just won't come out. It only works on hit. Also another thing too, let's say you only have two bars of super meter and you try to do top gear geyser. you're gonna be in a lot of recovery. You're gonna be in 90 frames of recovery. So don't mash. If you don't have the meter, don't mash extra buttons because then he's gonna do a little animation that he's gonna be like, I can't do it. And then obviously you have his level three. That's 3,500. Should be about 4K. Yeah, 38%, right? But then, like I said, if you do Power Geyser and then Top Gear Geyser, it does more damage than both his CA and his uh, level three. His level three is obviously like a combo ender. You're gonna be doing it also like, you can kind of use it as an anti air because it goes straight up, right? So you can use it like a call out if someone jumps in. It, it's just very narrow, so you have to be careful. You don't want to just use it like around this range against fireballs because it might not work, right? You see, it, it's not going to go into animation. It'll only do like one hit. And obviously, you know, it's going to do like nothing. So you don't want to use this move to like punish projectiles or anything like that. Okay. So now that we've talked about all the basic stuff with Terry, I do have other target combos that I do want to talk about, but I wanted to save it for this portion. Some of his main BMBs, and like if he does standing heavy punch, the first hit of standing heavy punch is cancelable and you could do it in the power charge. You could do it in the power charge, but if you try to cancel the second hit of a standing heavy punch, you will not be able to go in the power charge. You'll have to do like medium tackle or medium power charge. So you always want the first hit of standing heavy punch so that way you can connect power charge but if the standing heavy punch hits on later frames you will not be able to combo into power charge when you do his main bmb like his main like standing heavy punch into power charge you can go into his fireball and then this gives you a combo you could do driver stand medium punch and here you got a few options right so This is plus. It's so plus, it's like plus five. That means the jab, the jab you do after is a true block string, as you saw. So you can just frame trap, you get your combo again. You could go into it again if you want. Another thing you can do is you can do his target combo, right? You could do his lane switch combo. And this does less damage, but as you can see, he has two follow-ups. He has the punch follow-up and the kick follow-up. He can do the punch follow-up and then he's plus three. So now you can frame trap in the crouching strong uh, or you can do the side switch, right? Not with the punch, but with the kick. And it's safe on block, but it switches sides. And if they mash in between this, that's a counter hit, you're plus. You're plus five, so you get a jab, right? So you get to switch sides if they get hit. And so the opponent is going to have to think about parrying this. So if I do this, they parry it, right? You see that? He just comes back and he does nothing. Then you throw them. Something like this. And throw them. See? The follow-ups are all done with medium punch or medium kick and holding forward. So you either hold forward for the lane switch to go behind them or to stay same side. You can use this in your combos because it'll give you like 
different Oki. And this. You now get a meaty. You see that? You get like a meaty crouch, drive rush crouch strong into another crouch strong. Now, another thing you can do is you can do that stand medium punch into another fireball and then meaty the burn knuckle like that. So the, the fireball will cover the burn knuckle as well. So they have to parry the fireball and they would have to parry the burn knuckle. That's how you stop them from just doing random wake up drive parry. If you land a jump in, instead of doing that fireball, you could just do this. You can do one hit stand heavy punch into heavy ch power charge into crack shoot and then do DP. That's a basic combo that you could do on a jump in. You get like a drive rush low forward, then you do crouching heavy, crouching medium punch and the standing heavy punch into that combo again that I mentioned before. In the corner, you can do one hit of stand heavy punch into the power, char power charge. And then you do the projectile, the heavy projectile into DP. And that's another combo you can do. You do something like this. And then you get the corner carry, you see that? His light confirms, you wanna do crouch and light kick, crouch and light punch, stand and light punch, into rising tackle. You can also do crouch and light kick, crouch and light punch, crouch and light punch into medium burn knuckle. And that's a good way of corner carry. You can also do it from stand light kick. So it's a really good like check. Let's say somebody dashes at you, you can do stand light kick into it. So it's, it's pretty good for that as well. And that is pretty much like some of his main light confirms without meter. With meter, you wanna do crouch and heavy punch after his lights, right? You see that? You cannot go into heavy power charge from crouching heavy punch, but you can do the medium power tackle and then that gives you a safe jump. Of course, you can also go into burn knuckle as well. You can also end a combo in rising tackle like this with two stand jabs, and then you can do crouching medium punch. If you time it correctly, you'll be plus one. Plus two even, see? So that's another meaty you could do on their wake up. that they have to worry about. So you could either do that or you could do ground wave. If you land a drive impact, right? You do standing heavy punch into medium crack shoot and then do heavy DP. Let's say you knock them down in the corner. If you do this combo, it's another safe jump and you'll be able to block it. You have to delay the burn knuckle so that way it hits on the later frames. See that? So that's a really good safe jump that you can do. If you mistime it, then you get hit. So you do have to time it. His throw loop in the corner, let's say you knock them down, you just dash up and throw them again. See that? And if they try to tech or press a button, then you do crouching medium punch. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can also back dash and you get a meaty burn knuckle, you're plus one. If you want to shimmy, you got a forward dash and then back dash. See? You can do that. And then, obviously, if you want to overextend. See? So you can do that as your main, like, shimmy. So if you do a safe jump, Just EX burn knuckle, heavy power charge, right? Into the heavy fireball and the DP in the super. You always want to do light DP because light DP does the most damage. 55%, basic combo, not hard to do. This is what it'll look like. You can use the light tackle and, and you can link it. And that's 60%. A mid screen punish you could do on a DP. Something like this. A 
That's a good mid-screen to corner combo that you could do. So you could do this combo, but I wouldn't recommend it because you have to hold parry for the DP. And that's how you get the extra meter, but it's his max damage combo. It's 69%. There's 70% basically. I forgot to mention this, but with stun, let's say you landed a stun combo with DI, you can actually get like a full combo. Because then you'll get Crouch and Fierce in the EX power charge or power wave, and you're plus eight. You get stand strong. Right? Obviously, you could also do Power Geyser as well. This is good damage to cash out with. That stun combo doesn't work on Blanca, Honda, and Geef. Outside of that, you can just do a basic combo. Like that. So, yeah, he's very fun. But he's definitely mid. He's definitely not broken. But he's not garbage either. Anyway, if you learned a lot about this character, if there was anything I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get more videos like this. Uh, hope you guys can enjoy Terry. I will see y'all in the next one. Y'all be easy. Sonic Soul. Out.